Hey everyone, it's Rudy Rodriguez Showmott here with Come On Now, the podcast. Tonight I am bringing you a special edition of Rudy's Rants. That is why my partners, Donald and Nick, are not with me tonight. However, there was a topic that just popped up on my radar today that I wanted to discuss and talk about because it's a pretty serious topic, a serious allegation um, that was leveled by a former NBA player against a current NBA player. That current NBA player is LeBron James. That former NBA player is Hall of Famer Kevin Garnett. So what happened? If you haven't uh, seen earlier today or in the last couple of days, Kevin Garnett on his podcast with Paul Pierce, KG Certified, which is under All the Smoke uh, Productions that is run by uh, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, he stated in a conversation involving LeBron James and Bronny James where the where they were discussing the potential for Bronny to score a basket on LeBron, Kevin Garnett was speaking in glowing terms about LeBron and basically saying there's no way that Bronny could score a bucket on LeBron if LeBron wanted to defend him, which I do actually agree with. I think at six foot nine, 265, 270 pounds, I don't think there's any way in hell that his son could get a shot off over him if he decided he wanted to defend. That being said, towards the end of his praise, Kevin Garnett made a statement that I don't know if it was a slip of the tongue or if he did it on purpose, but he stated that LeBron is on that Balco, that new juice. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, Balco is a major steroid PED scandal that occurred involving baseball players primarily. Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds. It's the Bay Area laboratories or whatever um, under Victor Conte. Now, that was a serious, serious situation, and it's caused multiple Major League Baseball players to pretty much not be able to make the Hall of Fame. Uh, Bonds has been left out of the Hall of Fame. Roger Clemens has been left out of the Hall of Fame. Manny Ramirez has been left out of the Hall of Fame by a bunch of holier-than-thou media members who think that steroids actually actually can hit a baseball 500 feet when just making contact with a baseball at 98 miles an hour is a, a feat all into itself. That said, take a listen to what Kevin Garnett had to say, and I will come right back. Uh, uh, Brown get a uh, bucket on Brown right now? Yeah, he can get a bucket on no Brown way. right no, now. Nope. He can get a bucket. No way. Nope. He can get a bucket on Brian the average right 25. No, I didn't say he ain't. I don't care what he's doing, but he ain't sliding, playing at that Shit. all defensive level. 25? Right. Nah, nah. Lord, 25? You still, Lord, he dunking? He's still dunking the ball with him. I'm saying that Bronny can get a bucket on Bron. I'm saying he can't. One rollout, get a bucket. Three dribbles? No way. You, I'm yeah, talking about get a bucket on him. Man, come on, that little dude is supposed to, bro. He is, but you see his dad, his dad on that balcony, yeah, he on he that new he juice that lying come. like he used to. So now that you've heard that, <clears throat> those were pretty, that, those words are, they jumped out because LeBron James is still the face of the NBA and there's no denying that. LeBron James is a business in itself. And I don't know if you've noticed, but Paul Pierce really didn't jump in and comment on that because I don't know that Paul Pierce wants to get himself involved in something like that because what Kevin Garnett just did, if it's not true and he knows it to be not true, he could be sued. And so he better have evidence and proof that what he's saying is true. Otherwise, he just opened up himself, his podcast, the companies that fund his podcast and the companies that fund that because uh, from what I gather, I believe all the smoke is is um, all the smoke is uh, run by you know funded or under the Metal Lark banner, which is Dan formerly you know which is Dan Lebetard, um, who has you know one of the largest podcasts out there and shows on Apple um, Apple Music or whatever the Apple Podcast and Spotify and and YouTube etc. And Dan Lebatard is one of the best in the business. No question about it. I've read Dan Lebatard's work since I was a kid because he's from Miami. He went to UM. I used to read his stuff all the time as a kid. 
That said, I'm sure they don't want to be associated or affiliated with any type of potential lawsuit, thanks to the words of Kevin Garnett. Now, the question is, is it true? My opinion, I don't care. I don't care if it's true because I've never cared if people did steroids or not. I've never cared about any professional athlete doing steroids, realistically. Now, the only, there's only two sports that I think that steroids make a real difference. MMA and boxing. Because they do have a bit to do with strength, but I think in pro athletes who are playing football, basketball, baseball, hockey, it's more so used for recovery purposes. Now, do they use them, I'm sure, to get stronger? Absolutely. Absolutely. But do I care? Not really. Because to me, that's part of competing. And you might call me crazy. Have I ever done steroids? No. But for guys competing at a level like that, I've heard of I've heard stories of high school baseball players on steroids. This is not new. Now, the problem here is that LeBron James is the face of the NBA. And he's going through a season in which he just broke the all-time scoring record. He's doing things on the court that no one can possibly imagine and fathom because he's having a great season at 39, 25 points, seven assists, seven rebounds. You know, and yeah, while you can see there's some regression in his game, I mean, he's not as quick. He doesn't have the same burst off the ground. I mean, his signature dunk where he goes big, you know, tomahawk level type of dunk um, from in front of the basket. His face used to be like in line with the rim. He did that dunk yesterday versus Phoenix and his face was never like higher than the bottom of the net. So you can see things that are not, you know, he's not as athletic as he used to be, but you know, this is a pretty serious allegation and you know, it's no different than when, you know, gosh, when the NBA has dealings with China, they never want a negative word said about China because if there is, then China has a problem and NBA is basically beholden to China at this point, you know, financially. And, and, and so in the case with LeBron, LeBron is still the poster boy for ESPN, TNT, ABC. If the NBA could, could, could manufacture a finals, they would want LeBron James in the finals every single year. There's no question about it. So I think it'll be real telling over the next few days to see if any actual major media networks talk about it. If you see the Stephen A. Smith, J.J. Reddicks, Kendrick Perkins, et cetera, on ESPN talking about it, because if they're not, it makes you wonder why aren't they talking about it? Because I've seen it on some, on some uh, streams and podcasts today, and it is serious. I saw it initially on Dreamers Pro with Charles Tabansi. Uh He has a great podcast called Dreamers Pro. And, and, you know, listening to him, I mean, he, after I watched that and then I pulled up the actual podcast, I, I think he's spot on. If you don't hear about it from the major media, you have something to wonder about. Because if they know that it's false, they'll talk about it. But if they know that it's possibly true or they know that there's meat to it, they probably won't because it will create a firestorm for the NBA. One, you got you got your top dog in the league. He's still the top guy in the league in terms of the face of the league. And he just broke a major record. And, you know, there's reports that he's been in reports of, of biogenesis. Deadspin had an article in September talking about his business partner, Ernest Mims, who's his, like, personal secretary. You know, that's serious. So you're saying that Ernest Mims is involved in biogenesis in a report, but... LeBron doesn't know about it. Like, those are the things that, that come up. Like, and, you know, and then you talk about recently there was a gambling thing involving Maverick Carter where there was FBI investigations, I think, or something like that. Like, and LeBron didn't know about it. So the, the, these are things that when people are that close where, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. So I don't know if he was, if he's used them. If he did, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I but I still don't, I don't care but it wouldn't shock me because I, I, my opinion is that most pro athletes have used something at some point to help them with winning and performing because the pressure is so high and you want to have your, your career last as long as possible, make as much money as possible so that you don't have to work another day in the rest of your, for the rest of your life after you retire. Obviously LeBron James is perfectly fine. He's never going to need to work another day in his life. I'm sure he will, at, you know, in different business ventures and so forth. But what this does to your career in the eyes of the holier than thou public, oh my God, did he really do it? Was he on this stuff? If he, if it turns out he was, 
the does the opinion of of everyone change about him? Um, which obviously for him, his 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 uh, per, you know his persona publicly is very important to him. So you know, it this is a big topic, and. I hope for Kevin Garnett, Garnett, Garnett's sake that he actually has proof of what he said, because if he doesn't, he's going to have some problems. There's no way in the world you're making an accusation against me as a pro athlete saying I was on steroids or I'm on steroids. And if I'm not, I'm suing your ass. He's going to have papers in his hands tomorrow. He's being sued tomorrow. Like there's no way in the world. Because that is a massive allegation against a pro athlete, the face of the league. It would cost hundreds of millions of dollars to the NBA if this was to turn out to be true. Um, so they're going to cover it. They don't want this to get out. They don't want to have an investigation because investigations involving steroids, for those that don't remember and don't watch baseball, when Balco went on um, with Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, etc., when that happened, guess what happened during that time? These guys were brought in front of Congress. U.S. Congress was questioning Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Rafael Palmero. All these guys were being questioned in, Cong in Congress. That's serious shit. And you can bet your ass the NBA does not want to be dragged in front of Congress. So they're going to do whatever they can to make sure that ESPN doesn't talk about it. ABC doesn't talk about it, TNT doesn't talk about it, and any network that they can control because they have the, the contracts with you know their league with these you know media companies, they're gonna make they're gonna do everything they can to protect their shield. So I'm curious to know what people's thoughts are, comments. Do you think Kevin Carnett's full of shit? Do you think he just said it because he hates LeBron James or doesn't like LeBron because of the losing? Or do you think he there's merit to what he said? Do you think he let this? Do you think it slipped out of his mouth by accident? Do you think he did it on purpose? Love to hear your comments. Leave your comments, thoughts, share this video because look out for the next three to five days. If nothing pops off on ESPN or any of the major network, you can assume that something really is going on because <laughs> that's not a good look. So that's all I got. This special of Rudy's Rant. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, follow, and We'll see you this week on our full podcast with me and the boys. Let's get it.